So this video is about academic integrity and how to avoid uh, getting a charge of plagiarism. So plagiarism is something that the university takes quite seriously. And the university defines plagiarism as using the ideas or work of another person, including experts and fellow or former students, and as submitting them as if they were your own original work. So this is something that is really important to get your head around what the rules are in terms of plagiarism so that you can avoid getting yourself uh, into any uh, difficulties when you come to submit your assignments. So what is plagiarism? Well, plagiarism is a really important part of academic writing. In academic writing, it's really important that the writer clearly identifies uh, the source uh, of um, words and ideas. So here we've got a, a paper about interaction networks, and you can see all the way through this paper, we've got uh, we've got references uh, that direct us to sources, and it tells us where the source has come from. And this is an absolute characteristic of academic writing. So when you're writing in an academic style, you need to make it clear whether something is your own idea or it's an idea that you found somewhere else. And being able to uh, signify that clearly to the reader is really important. And if you fail to do that, then that's what's called plagiarism. And that's something that you need to avoid in your academic writing. So um, the university has various different types of what it calls academic misconduct. So basically not playing by the rules uh, and not uh, submitting work in a fair way. So one of these is plagiarism. So plagiarism might be either direct copying, reproducing or what's called paraphrasing ideas without appropriate acknowledgement. So paraphrasing is when you take someone else's words and you change them just enough, just a little bit, but so fundamentally there's someone else's ideas. Plagiarism also includes uh, copying another student's work without their knowledge. So uh, presenting something uh, as if it was in your own work, but actually it's the work of someone else is plagiarism. Something else that the university uh, is looking for is self-plagiarism. This is something you need to be careful of. If you submit work that's the same as a previous assessment that was awarded academic credit, then that counts as self-plagiarism. So you can't submit an essay uh, in your second year that's mostly based on stuff that you wrote in your first year. You might get caught out that way, or you might get caught out in resits, for example. So you can't submit the same piece of work twice and expect to get a mark from it from the university. Collusion um, is unauthorised collaboration between two or more students, so where you're supposed to be writing an individual assignment, but actually you write it as a pair when you're not supposed to, that's what collusion is. And then the final type is contract cheating, so using work that's been published, uh, sorry, purchased or obtained from others, so friends or family, commercial essay mills, other students, if someone else wrote the work for you, then that also counts as academic misconduct. So those are the things that you need to be aware of. And the university does impose penalties for academic misconduct. So it might be anything from getting a formal warning and a note on your student record. It might be that you awarded a mark of zero for an assessment, maybe a module, or ultimately, if you've been found to have serious plagiarism on repeated occasions, you could potentially uh, be asked to terminate your study, so be unable to complete your degree. So the university does take it quite seriously. Okay? So obviously, we want to avoid uh, plagiarism uh, when you're submitting your assignments. So I've got three easy rules for you uh, for how to avoid plagiarism. So one of the things you can do is to reference your work, and that includes any figures that you include in your work. You must reference all assignments. So in biology, we use Harvard style referencing. So in your main body of your document, you need to have uh, these what do we call inline citations. So uh, we've got the authors and the year in brackets. And in the reference list at the end of your document, we give a full um, description of exactly where the source came from. And uh, you've had uh, material on Harvard style referencing uh, elsewhere in the module. Uh, and there's resources on Canvas to help you with that. The other thing that you need to do um, is to make sure that any uh, direct quotes um, are put in quotation marks. So here we've directly quoted some song lyrics, so we need to put these in the quotation marks to indicate this is direct quote. This is actually more of an art style thing to do. It's unusual to see this in biology essays. We don't tend to quote large bodies of text uh, from papers. We tend to write things in our own words. But if you are uh, copying directly, then you have to put it in quotation marks. Okay. One of the things that you can do to help to uh, avoid plagiarism is to check your assignments uh, through Turnitin, which is the system that the university uses to check 
uh, assignments. So on the biology program site, there's what's called the Turnitin test assignments that you can upload your work to and check to see uh, whether the system is uh, detecting any text matching in there. OK, so you get a report like this. So for here, for example, uh, on this assignment, this sentence here has been highlighted. This is the same as a sentence uh, in another source. Uh, so that will be a flag uh, that that's not original work. Just a couple of notes about Turnitin. Uh, there is no such thing as a safe score. Uh, it's always academics will interpret what they think an appropriate score uh, is. All Turnitin does is to match text. It looks for sentences that are similar to other sentences it can find on the internet. And Turnitin doesn't detect all forms of plagiarism. So it might be uh, if you copied from another student, it might not show up through Turnitin, but an academic might spot it. So there's no such thing as a safe score in Turnitin, but that's a thing you can use to help you um, to identify whether you've been writing in your own words or not. But that's the most important thing that you can do to avoid plagiarism is to write in your own words. So uh, when you come to write an assignment, don't have the textbook uh, in front of you directly. Close the textbook, uh, close your notes and then write it in your own words. And if you write it in your own words and you acknowledge your sources with Harvard style, the chances of accidental plagiarism are incredibly low. The chances of writing exactly the same sentence as someone else has ever written is incredibly low. So you don't need to worry about plagiarism if you're doing those two things, writing in your own words and acknowledging your sources. So those are the most important things that you need to do when you're writing your assignment. So hopefully that gives you an idea of what the university means in terms of academic integrity and some easy strategies for avoiding plagiarism. If you've got any concerns or questions about plagiarism, uh, then ask your academic support tutor or you can ask the library skills team uh, for support. They're happy to help you with that. But it's really important that you write uh, in original words and use Harvard style so that you don't get accused of plagiarism.